Welcome to another guy too, with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Massey Ferguson 135 and 240 pack. This is a new set of tractors from Peter J. Um, I mentioned it a while back, I think, on my Facebook page. Someone had sent me a link that they might be on the way and they are finally here if you like Massey Ferguson's you're gonna love this pack when I say Massey Ferguson if you like old Massey Ferguson's you're gonna like this pack um, there is a lot of variety a lot of choice um, they're really nice I wish these had been out three four months ago maybe only a couple of months ago when I was doing my golden days of farming um, let's play I was doing all old tractors small tractors and this would have fit perfectly anyway let's move on without further ado there are actually three tractors in this and then obviously variants of them it does say the Massey Ferguson 135 and 240 but there's also the Massey Ferguson 20B and 20D which you can see in the background which are the yellow tractors they are the industrial versions rather than the farming versions um, so they are in this pack as well and there's also the Massey Ferguson 875 front loader that goes with this pack that all comes as part of it so before we move on and look at the tractors in a bit more detail we're going to look at options and there are a lot of them so bear with me if I go into the store and we look in tractors I've installed them I scroll right to the end and I've got the first of the Massey Ferguson 135s so at 15,600 it's not a bad price at all if I click into that there are there are a lot of options available and when we look at the tractors I've got to try and remember which ones I put on which tractors but anyway um, you've got the option of a swinging drawbar pickup hitch an EU hitch that was it the three on there wheel setup you've got standard you've got wheel weights you've got narrow tires rim color you can have as the gray or you can have it as the Massey Ferguson red the design you've got shell type fenders you've got flat top fenders very very nice and then the design you've got standard design front guard front weights frame and front weights so there's there's a lot of options you can mix and match on these particular tractors um, so what I'm going to do is have we'll have a look at those first then we'll come back in we'll look at the next set and the next set and so on and so forth so coming back out of there the first one I've got is the standard Massey Ferguson 135 as far as I'm aware what I've been able to find online the Massey Ferguson 135 was in production from 1964 ish to 1975 ish so a fairly old tractor this replaced the Massey Ferguson 35 which was in production in the much earlier 60s um, a very very basic tractor um, with about 45 horsepower I think it says what did it say in store uh, yeah 45 horsepower um, and really I think it looks great fantastic it's got that real kind of old style that kind of 60s look to the um, the logo on the side the design it's really nice the first one I've got is with the shell fenders um, so it's kind of like a half shell clamshell that kind of thing on the sides the first one I think was with the swinging drawbar although I've got in it and it doesn't allow you to swing the drawbar nice little I think it's like a toolbox like on the side of the fender here some lovely details the filters and again that that my usual taste test the closer you get the logos don't blur they're very very nice uh, detailed if I look down the side of the fender here you've got your control levers again very neat very very tidy so that's the standard version this is obviously a two-wheel drive version you've got your more knobbly chunky tires in the back and your smoother ones on the front the next one we're going to look at is one with wider tires I think it was wider tires um, and also what I've gone with is wheel weights and I've gone with the red rims on this one as you can see and this one's got a front frame on it but other than that it's pretty much the same I think the rear draw bar I went for I'm gonna to have to look to remind myself because there were so many options that one's the pickup hitch so that's the pickup hitch at the back on this one and I've gone with the flat top fenders on this one 
so that one's like the shell fenders this one's the flat tops so there's a few different options and you look at them and they look like completely different tractors i mean at the end of the day it's the same tractor um but i love the fact there are so many different options you can choose you've got a, a, is that the key the key hanging from the ignition just there we'll zoom in on that that's brilliant is that the other one as well it is wow wow the detail is awesome so the next one we're going to have a quick look at then is moving across this is the one with the narrow tyres as you can tell I've gone with the shell fenders at the back and this one this little bit here is the front weight frame but I've gone with the one with the front weight so it's got the frame and the weight already on it um, again two wheel drive all the same details are on here and this one's got the did I go for the EU? I'm going to check again. I don't want to get it wrong. Yeah, I'm sure it was the EU hitch. Yeah. So that one's got an EU hitch on it. I like the chains as well to the rear three or three point linkage, kind of early three point linkages. But yeah, um, the chains on the side there, they look amazing. So that's the first three. And that's the 135s in two wheel drive format a lot of these options are available in the four wheel drive format so we come back in here we've got the 135 four wheel drive which is 17,000 um, and we've got the same options pretty much available swinging drawbar pickup hitch eu hitch standard setup narrow tires but there's no wide tire option on this rim color is the same you can change those options shell type fenders and flat top fenders again design standard front guard front weights frame and front weights is exactly the same so the only difference with all the options available from these three at the front is this one at the back is the four wheel drive option i've gone with the red rims on this one i've gone with the front weight frame on this one but you've got your knobbly tires front and rear because it's a four wheel drive version that's the only difference really between these ones at the front and this one here is that option of four wheel drive and we'll start one up let's jump in it's incredibly quiet um and it looks tiny it really is I do like a bit closer in you can see the steering rods look at that that's brilliant have a look so in cab there's no cab but you know what I mean in the seat oh it's great there's something lovely about these old tractors isn't there so stop that one there and let's jump out that's the 135 two wheel drive and four wheel drive options loads of options available um, so you can really customize them however you really want them to look um, they look great which moves us on to the next lot available in this pack is the Massey Ferguson 240 range again as far as I've managed to find out online the Massey Ferguson 240s or the 200 series were in production from around 1980 to 1999 slightly larger interesting though the um, horsepower is the same I think it's 45 it might be 47 but I will double check again so the Massey Ferguson 240 is the next one long oh yeah 47 so two horsepower more we've gone up um, and options available on these are slightly different and it's different between the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive version as well a lot of options available swinging drawbar pickup hitch EU hitch same as it was on the 135 but this one you've got a front loader attacher no or yes You've also got under engine setup, you've got drum brakes or disc brakes. Now, obviously, disc brakes are going to stop you a lot better than the drum brakes did. I remember I had drum brakes on an old Mini and they were horrendous, <laughs> horrific brakes. So, yeah, disc brakes, that's why they're a little bit more money. Wheel setup, standard, wide, and narrow. And then the same with the design shell type fenders or flat top fenders. But you can also have a cabin on this one. And you can also have. A roll bar so we've gone up in the world a little bit with the options available on the Massey Ferguson 240 
So let's come back out and have a quick look. The front one is the standard version. I think we've got the front weight frame on the front there. We've got the clamshell or soft shell and um, fenders and that one's got the swinging drawbar. These do have rear work lights which are quite handy actually as well. I say work lights, a work light. Um, but again the details, are, they look great, they're brilliant looking tractors. Vast difference, I say vast difference, not too massively different, but different front end to the 135, much flatter, but it looks great. Really do like that. Uh, the next one then I think is, did I go over this one for the wide? Yeah, this one's got the wide tyre option, again the front weight option, but this one's got these brackets, this bracket there and this bracket there that's your front loader attachment brackets as are these brackets here at the front there and there so when we look at the new uh, front loader the 875 that's where they attach onto they bolt on to those brackets there this one I've got the flat top fenders on the back of it and I think this is still a draw bar I think swing and draw bar I think with it on that one I didn't mix up too much there are lots of options available you've even got the hook here for holding your top link oh, it's, they're great I really do like them, really do like them. And again, oh, it takes up too, way too high. Let's get in it, actually, and zoom in a little bit. So just down to the right, you can see there. There we go, we'll zoom in on that. You've got your control levers. Great detail. The colours really pop on that, really stand out. Start it up. The needle on the left of the steering wheel is just is working. We have got lights. I meant to show that on the last one, actually. Front lights. Rear work light. Awesome. Again, your steering rods. They're great. I really do like these. Oh, I meant to show that as well. The fan working inside there. Let's turn it on. I will zoom in on that. But the fan inside the engine compartment, it, it's all, they're really great. Peter J, you've done a phenomenal job on these. Really, really do like them. All right, jump back out. So, the next one, this side then, I think, was it standard? Yeah, that was a standard wheel set up on this one. But this one's got the roll bar on the back, which is slightly different. I think I stayed with the same hitch, but it's got a roll bar option. It's also got the front loader attachments, which are on here and the front weight option and then we move backwards and we've got the cab version and I use the word cab in the loosest sense I mean it is a cab but it's open at the back which is great and this one's got the narrow tyres on it but I do like when you get in this one from inside I mean the tractor itself is identical the cab is kind of a drop on top kind of thing but then when you look around the back you've got a nice clear view of your rear link for hooking up trailers etc it's brilliant they're great they really are great mods um, and then obviously moving on again from that you've got your 240 these are all two wheel drive versions again knobbly tires at the back smooth the ones at the front and then there is when we move on slightly the four wheel drive option it looks a little bit meatier um, We'll have a quick look in store at that. So we've got the 240 four-wheel drive, which has gone up a little bit further again, 21,000. Again, 47 horsepower, and the options on this one are slightly different. You've got the draw bar, pickup hitch, and a U-hitch. Front loader attachment, wheel setup standard and wide only. There's no narrow version. And design, standard front guard, front weights. That's it. There's no other options on this one. If we go back to this one, we had the drum brake and disc brake situation and design you had shell type fenders and flat top fenders cabin and roll bar the 240 four wheel drive doesn't it is only doesn't have the drum brake, brake or disc brake option and it doesn't have the fender options or cab or roll bar what you get with this one standard is a roll bar that's what you get with this one but on that roll bar you do get a beacon so it's not all doom and gloom so let's just jump in that. 
There we go. See, we get four wheel drive and a beacon. A slight upgrade for your farming needs. It's great. I love it. Right, so then we move on to the industrial versions of these tractors, and they're interesting looking things. They look amazing. Um, so we've got the Massey Ferguson 20B. The 20B, obviously they are industrial, um, was around from 1973-ish, but I'm not too sure how long they were in production for. Couldn't find an end date. And the Massey Ferguson, there was then the 20C, then the 20D, which is the other option we've got available. I couldn't find much out about these. I did have a quick look, but couldn't find a huge amount out. But they are the industrial versions rather than the farming versions. So we have kind of got three separate tractors in this pack, which is brilliant. Um, again, a few options available on these. You've got, um, there's not a four-wheel drive option, actually. Let's have a look in the store. We scroll across one more. We've got the Massey Ferguson 20B and D, all under the same umbrella. Um, you've got the swinging drawbar. You've got a pickup hitch. You've got an EU hitch. Front loader attachment, yes or no. We'll set up standard wide road. Mm, standard wide and road. And then you've got the 20B or the 20D. The 20B comes with a cab. The 20D doesn't. So if you want one with a cab, you want to go with the 20B. If you want one without a cab, go with the 20D. Um, those are the options that are available in there. Um, and I've got this one, the, uh, this one here is your standard. And it's the 20B, so it's with a cab, which isn't much different to the cab on the 240 just the industrial version of lighting's the same etc etc I've got the front loader brackets on this one there and there on both sides this version here is the wide tired version so you can see the front one to there they are definitely wider slightly different tread pattern as well but this is the 20d version so no cab but brilliant really really nice and then this version here, we've gone back to the 20B, and this one's got road tyres on, so they look a little bit, little bit like the Nokian tyres that you can get on some of the tractors in, in the, on the more modern versions of. Um, but that's the road tyres, so you've got standard, you've got wide, you've got road tyres. Um, they're great looking tractors. Now, obviously these ones I've gone with the front loader attachment, so what I will then show you Is the Massey Ferguson 875 front loader. Slightly different one to the ones in the Massey Ferguson pack for black sheep modding. And what we'll do is we'll just swing in there. And you'll see when we hook up, they should let's just jump out. This section here will bolt onto these brackets here. This section here will bolt onto these brackets here. And it will all go on very, very nicely. They look quite cool actually so let's hook up and there we go bolted on very very nicely and they work like any front loaders do all your movement needs are there they look really cool got quite high reach on as well actually very very nice so that's the industrial version and when you look at it in the store we go to front loaders Scroll across until you get to the Massive Ferguson 875. Now, as far as I know, I haven't tried a Massive Ferguson 80 front loader on it. I don't know if they'll hook up or not. That would be something you can try out yourself if you want to give it a go. But if you click on here, you've got standard, you've got industrial. Standard is the red, industrial is the yellow, depending on what option you want. If you want to mix and match and have a red tractor with yellow front loader, that's entirely up to you. I'm not sure why you would, but you can if you want. I think overall, like I said at the start, if you like Massey Ferguson's, if you like old Massey Ferguson's, you're going to love this pack. Loads of options. They look great. They sound great. They're just brilliant. And jump in this one and just hook up the red one.
And there we go. I can see these things being little workhorses around the yards, moving bales and shifting trailers and that kind of thing, but they haven't got massive horsepower, 45 and 47, but they're just great looking little tractors. Really, really nice. So, like I said earlier on, Peter J, I take my hat off to you. Absolutely fantastic. Love them, love the detail. The quality of the mods speak for themselves. I'm sure I will get people, as usual, commenting, saying, well, I think you'll find this texture's not very good and this looks shiny and shouldn't be and all that kind of thing, you know. Overall, they look great. They sound great. They do what they should. Tons of options available. Um, I'm trying to work out in my head now what I can use them for, but I will find something. I, I need one of these tractors in my life. They are brilliant. I do like these, the style of them. I just think they look amazing. The only downside to the 135s, you, you can't put front loaders on them, but they look brilliant anyway that being said i hope you found this guide to um, useful informative as i always say on my videos especially my guide twos even if it's just to have a look at them in three dimen dimensions rather than just looking at them on the buy or sell page the options available you know there will be things i've missed and i'm sure some of the dates and things could be wrong if i didn't mention before i'm pretty sure all of these came or come with Perkins diesel engines um, so if you have found it useful and informative enjoyed the video in any way shape or form give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching